Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, August 17th. This is for all signs, okay? So we're going to just get one of these, and then we're going to get go right into that tarot deck. Sorry, I just need to turn that off. My apologies. Friday, August 17th. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Interesting. Interesting. We have a fire. Uh, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. Um, this is this could be an offer of love. It could be opening your heart. This could be self love. This is this is the Queen of Love. Okay, so love is on the mind. Keep an open mind. You know, this person may not reveal, they may not reveal their true feelings. And they may, they may or they may not. They may be afraid to. Hangman reversed. Um, this is sacrificing, fear of sacrifice. This, you know, so I'm not sure somebody may be afraid to look at things to keep that open mind. Okay, because needing to look at things from a new perspective, open your heart. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about regaining your focus and your concentration, doing the right thing, being noble, taking the lead, finding strength. Hmm, the Empress reversed. You know, somebody has a lot of options here. Somebody has a lot of options and they, you know, are stuck on what to do. That is, a, this is stuck. The hangman is stuck. They have a lot of options. Which, which one do they want to let blossom? Okay. So this one is, this is like, this could be a lack of self-love. Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. So, there's choices here. There is choices. With the Empress Reverse, there's choices. Somebody has multiple options, um, multiple choices, not sure where to go, what to do. Uh, maybe a little bit ungrounded at this time. Definitely ungrounded. Um, hmm. Let me get the rest of the cards before I go any further. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that candle going. It's, it's bothering me. Um... Jesus. 
So for some of you, you may be trying to put something out, just saying. <laughs> I mean, when so everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. So that was really bothering me. So I blew it out. I blew it out. And I can see that somebody has options here. The Empress Reversed is a woman that has many options and she doesn't really know her worth. She doesn't have a lot of self self-respect or self-love or whatever the case is at that point okay so it feels like there's a conscious change that needs to be made with the ten of wands somebody needs to make a conscious change to get grounded be practical okay let's be practical here because the queen of cups upright is practical i feel as though there's a lack of of faith okay there's a lack of faith there's a lack of trust with the hierophant reversed I feel as though, you know, there probably is a new offer, maybe maybe more than one, okay? There's a new offer in which somebody is really scared of sacrificing their heart. You know, I'm scared to give my heart to you. I you know, I'm 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 afraid of sacrifice. I'm afraid of upheaval. I'm afraid of 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 offering you my heart and, and having it um torn down, you know, there's fear of sacrifice in both of these cards, okay, so I feel as though there's probably an offer that is, you know, genuine, okay, I think there is a genuine offer with this king of wands, could be any sign taking on this energy, this is somebody who is very noble, okay, I think that you are receiving some sort of of offer that is or you're going to be giving an offer that is is very well meaning okay this person whoever that person is has a lot of confidence they have a lot of courage okay they have a lot of self-esteem and respect for themselves but I feel like the other person in this dynamic is lacking lacking faith lacking trust um, fear of sacrifice, fear of breakdown, fear of upheaval, heaval, fear of, of getting hurt, fear of getting involved in anything that is a lie, anything is, that is false, um, fear of opening their heart, fear of offering their heart. There's been some sort of rejection in the past. Here we have a lack of strength, a lack of courage, okay, underneath this Queen of Pentacles reverse, a lack of, of, of willpower. You know, so there's somebody needs to find the force within them to go with the flow and not try to control, okay? Because these are very controlling energies. I feel as though somebody is trying to protect themselves in a very big way by keeping their guard up, but they need to make a conscious change to let their guard down. Because there's an opportunity for a birth, for something new to begin, but somebody is hindering that from happening for fear of sacrifice, fear of breakdown, okay? For fear of, you know, getting hurt, fear of, of uh, getting involved in anything that isn't stable. So I feel as though today is a day where you are being called to, to keep an open mind, to really look beyond the surface, to look underneath, you know, to find your, your courage to drop the baggage, I mean, to, to give up, you know, to give up the, the, the bars, you know, let the bars down, let the, let the fence down, step outside of your comfort zone, you know, to stop protecting yourself. This is the nine of wands reversed. Somebody is protecting themselves by not allowing themselves to get emotionally invested. So, you know, there's a fear of commitment here. There is. Lack of faith. Somebody may not be taking the traditional approach. And therefore, somebody feels as though somebody isn't being honest. 
you know, I feel like it, because nines are a time, it's time to move on, but this one is reversed. Maybe it's time to begin again. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's time to allow this birth to happen, this rebirth, this renewal, this growth. But somebody's hindering it, they're halting it, they're, they're like, you know, I don't have confidence. I don't have confidence in this. Let's get some clarifiers. We'll use this deck. Today is a day of finding your confidence. That King of Wands is like screaming at me. You know, be strong. Be strong. Concentrate. Regain your focus. Take the lead. You're in control. You're the boss. Try to see things from a new perspective. Stop hanging around where you've been. King of Swords, you have to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's time to make a logical decision here. Mind versus heart. And that's what this is. It's like there's a... And so this is about balancing the two. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, there's there's definitely fear of sacrifice. It's like this is, this is very... Um, shaky. I'm on shaky ground here. Very indecisive. Mm, in denial. Need to make a decision. I do need to make a decision. You need to make a decision. But so afraid of, of a false foundation that it's hindering any progress from being made, any real progress. This is wearing a mask in denial. Needing to make a stressful decision. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, somebody is, is, is not wanting to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. But my guard is up. And I guess maybe I'm I'm a coward. I don't know. Somebody's not feeling abundant with who they are. They're not feeling fulfilled, grateful, alone. Somebody's feeling quite alone, wanting this growth, but not allowing it because they're so guarded. This is a very, I'm sitting on the fence, sitting on the fence. I have to make a difficult, painful decision. Am I ready to face my fears? Or should I, you know, or do I, or am I, or I do have no faith in this. I have no faith in a solid foundation at this point. But there is an opportunity for commitment here. There's opportunity for contentment and happiness. You know, somebody is, is stalling a new beginning. And it's getting old. Somebody is staying in a place where they're, they're at like a dead end. And there's been nothing but upheaval. And they have they have the they have the chance to decide to be logical and do the right thing and stand firm in their decision, but they're they're not. They're not taking they're not taking that step. They're not allowing. They're still holding on. They're resisting this transition. 
Oh, the hair of my... It's time to replace fear with faith. Whatever this is, I think there's an opportunity with the Four of Cups reversed. There's an opportunity for love that could lead to commitment in marriage. But somebody, this is fears, huge fears underneath this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the strength card. This is fears. Letting fears drive. Fears are in the driver's seat at this point. Yeah. Somebody needs to find the strength that they are lacking to allow this rebirth, this birth, this newness, this growth. And that's going to take a lot of strength. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there is definitely an opportunity for a beautiful partnership here, a union and love. If somebody could to t could take off their mask and unblock, unblock. It's funny that I put the monkeys out. Usually, she's guarding her heart. The two of swords. She's blocking love. But there is a difficult decision in love. I mean, twos are about a choice, a decision. Needing to make a choice, needing to make a decision. Do you want it or not? Do you? Or do you? would you rather be alone? You may not want to hear what the other person is saying. Or you may be choosing not to hear only what you want to hear. Only seeing what you want to see. You need to look deeper. Maybe you just need to listen to this person before you make it. Just listen. Listen with your ears, your eyes. Keep your mouth shut. See what happens. I feel as though, you know, there's an opportunity for love here if somebody could unblock and take their mask off and allow. There's an opportunity for happiness and bliss and renewal and even marriage. But you have to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Thank God, right? So maybe you need to stop judging this this new person, whoever it is, on the past. And that is going to take strength. So anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.